In this video, I'm sharing a quick tip on how to configure a Dell laptop to continue charging a USB device even when the lid is closed. I recently attended a conference for work and it involved a lot of walking around and using my phone as navigation, but unfortunately there weren't a lot of places to plug in and charge, which quickly results in a dead phone battery. So I thought since my laptop has this nice big battery and USB ports, I could just use it to charge my phone. But what I found was that by default, Dell laptops will only charge a USB device whenever the laptop is powered on. Luckily, there's a simple setting in the BIOS that you can configure to enable a feature called USB power sharing, which does exactly what the name implies. It tells the laptop that even when the screen is closed to continue sharing power with USB devices. And I'm gonna go ahead and show how to enable that now. So what you'll wanna do is start with the laptop powered off and then hit the power button. And as soon as it gives you the Dell splash screen, start tapping on the F2 key and you'll see preparing to enter setup in the top right corner. Now this may vary across different models of laptops and different versions of the BIOS, but generally what you'll want is underneath of system configuration here, and then USB power share. To enable the feature, all you have to do is just put a tick in this box and then say apply and then exit. And on some models of laptops, what you'll have is additional settings here that allow you to decide how much of the battery you want to allow to discharge before the laptop disables the feature and stops sharing power with USB devices. According to Dell, whenever your screen looks like mine and you don't have those options, the laptop will allow 50% of the battery to discharge before it stops sharing power with the USB devices. And obviously once you recharge the laptop to at least over 50%, it re-enables the feature and starts sharing power with USB devices again. So that's all there is to the setting. You can go ahead and hit exit. And if it asks you to save or anything, just tell it to save and the laptop will reboot. So a few other bits of information about USB PowerShare, it will only work when the laptop is in a low power state like standby. So for example, right now the laptop is booted up to Windows. If I just close the lid, it will continue to provide power to USB devices. But if the laptop had been shut down completely, it won't provide power. Other than that, just make sure you're connecting your device to ports that have either a battery icon or a plus sign or a lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Since those are the ports on the laptop that are capable of doing USB PowerShare. So that's it for this video. Hit the like button if this was helpful, and thanks for viewing.